Horses are on the track for DuCoin's second race, second half of the Daily Double. No changes. This for Illinois bred Trotters, three-year-old Colton Geldings. For eligibility for this overnight or non-stakes race, county fair earnings preferred. The one never pass, owned by Elizabeth Rutherford of Paw Paw, Michigan. Kathy Rutherford of Justice, Illinois, trained by Kathy Rutherford. Terry King is up. 1A is Sephron Job, owned also by Elizabeth and Kathy Rutherford. Kathy trains and drives. Two, Lamont Cyclone is owned by Zadia Jr. Harold of South Rock Santa, Illinois. Randy Gerald is the trainer and the driver. Number three is Willie B. Speedy, owned by Willis Ham of Missouri, trained and driven by Springfield's Tom Simmons. Number four, Arlene's Rose, is owned by Clark Fairley of Lerna by Marlene Fairley of Charleston, trained and driven by Clark Fairley. Number five is Nuance Crown, owned, trained, and driven by Dave Martin of Greenville, Illinois. Number six, Fox Valley Banker, owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour. Bill Alanya, the trainer and the driver. Number seven, Corton in the Sun, is owned by Gloria Cisna of Springfield, trained by John Cisna, the driver, Tim Bredberg. Number eight, M.A. Speedy, leased by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale, trained by Willie Jones, the driver, Tony Morgan. And number nine, T.K. Small Source, owned by Harold Finn and Harold Finn Jr. of Newton, trained by Harold Finn, the driver, John David Finn. Win, play, show, exact away wagering, post time in five minutes. Here they come. Arlene's Rose off stride. The rest are off and trotting, and there goes Nuance Crown in between horses. Never pass down toward the rail. They come to the front as a team, and never pass is determined to get the lead. Nuance Crown is still parked after the opening eighth of a mile. Lamont Cyclone travels next toward the inside of Sephron Job, then Fox Valley Banker, who settles down toward the rail, racing five lengths off the lead. Sephron Job is off stride. Further back, M.A. Speedy, then Willie B. Speedy is next as they hit the back stretch, eight lengths off the leader, followed by Corton in the sun, T.K. Small Source is 10 lengths from the front and over 10 more back to Arlene's Rose who made a break at the start. 29-1 and one for the opening quarter. Nuance Crown has finally made the top by a length. Never Pass is there in second. Lamont Cyclone third. Here comes M.A. Speedy off the rail from fourth around Fox Valley Banker who's now fifth. And then as they move down the backside, Willie B. Speedy, who is joined by Corton in the Sun, who starts to move up on the outside, followed by T.K. Small Source as they race by the halfway juncture. M.A. Speedy draws alongside of Nuance Crown to challenge for the top spot, the half in a minute, four fifths. Never pass, getting a good trip in third. Fox Valley Banker is fourth. Corton in the Sun is on the outside, fifth. Four lengths off the lead. Lamont Cyclone is now five lengths from the front toward the inside. Then TK Small Source, Willie B. Speedy off stride, Saffron Job and Arlene's Rose, and they've reached the three quarters. Nuance Crown shows the way by a length. M.A. Speedy parks second, never pass, locked in third. Fox Valley Banker three wide from fourth, still four lengths off the lead. Three quarters and one thirty and three-fifths. Corton in the Sun is six lengths from the front and angles wide from the fifth position. Nuance Crown leads the field off the turn. Here comes Never Pass to the outside. Fox Valley Banker is third. Corton in the Sun is very wide in the fourth position. Final eighth mile, Never Pass. Getting the lead in the final furlong here by a length. Never pass to the front. Fox Valley Banker challenging Nuance Crown for the second position. Then Corton in the sun. It's never pass. Trotting on toward the wire. Here's an upset. Never pass. Wins it by a length and a half. Nuance Crown was second. Fox Valley Banker was third. The time, two minutes and four-fifths. In the second race, number one, Never Pass, was first. Number five, Nuance Crown, was second. The sixth, Fox Valley Banker, was third. Result unofficial. The unofficial winner of the second race, number one, Never Pass, was bred by Claude Lawrence Sr. of Laura, Illinois, up near Peoria. A number of you have been asking this week about Claude's status. Claude is within a few days of turning 91 years of age. His health has been declining of late. 
However, at last report, Claude was still on the family farm in Laura and still keeping very close track of the horses that he still owns and those that he bred like Never Pass. Never Pass, 0 for 14 coming into today's program, picks up his first win of the season, a new lifetime record, knocks nearly 15 seconds off his lifetime best. Terry King with the winning drive, Never Pass. Elizabeth Rutherford of Paw, Michigan, and her daughter Kathy of Justice, Illinois, are the owners of the seafood special gelding. Terry King drove here yesterday and busted off the fastest pacing mile in DuCoin State Fair history by a female driver, so it's been a great week for Terry King, who's getting a slap on the back from trainer Kathy Rutherford. And it had been five years since we had seen a female driver in victory lane at the DuCoin State Fair. Talk about a way to bounce back and end that drought. Terry King, Kathy Rutherford teaming up for the win. Congratulations, ladies. Result is official. 1-5 exacto, $101.80. The 5-1 daily double, $413 even.